discrete probability distributions are easy to describe, at least in theory. You can write down all of the possible outcomes and you can state the probability of each outcome. Things are complicated in the case of continuous random variables because for a continuous random variable, the probability of any specific outcome come is zero. That may seem horribly unintuitive, but let's think it through. Suppose we want every possible outcome to be equally likely. And suppose that the probability of an outcome is anything other than zero. Well, probabilities can't be negative, so if this is not zero, it's positive. And it's a true state I don't know if you've seen this proven yet, but if P is greater than zero, there exists an integer M such that one divided by M is less than p. Now, if x is continuous, there are an infinite number of outcomes. Select m of them. x sub 1, x sub 2, to x sub m and ask the following question. If we select a random number, what's the probability that it is in this set? Well, if we have an event that's broken up like this, as a bunch of sub events, then to calculate the probability of this, we would find the probability that the number is this, plus the probability that the number is this, and so on. We would calculate this probability like so. Because all of our outcomes are equally likely, these are all the same, they're all p. We're adding p to itself m times. The probability is m times p. And this inequality gives us that. But the probability that we select a number in L can't be greater than one. So something went wrong. And what went wrong was this assumption that the probability is greater than zero. Actually, all of the probabilities are equal to zero. Now that might seem very unintuitive, but let's see how it works in a real world situation. 
every morning I walk to work and the exact amount of time that takes varies from morning to morning. Let's view this as a cut. Sorry, lost uh, my internet for a second there. Let's view this as a continuous random variable. And let's ask, what's the probability that it takes me 10 minutes to walk to work? Well, speaking informally in a day-to-day -day setting, I'd say that it is a 10-minute walk to work and that it's pretty likely that this is the value x takes on. Mathematically, however, this is quite an exceptional claim to say that the number of minutes it takes me to walk to work is exactly 10 minutes. No error in the first decimal place. No error in the second decimal place. Not off by a second, or a thousandth of a second, or a millionth of a second, or a billionth, or a trillionth of a second. The probability that it takes me exactly 10 minutes, yeah, that's zero. There is always going to be some kind of number in one of these decimal places. It's not going to be 10 followed by an infinite number of zeros. So it does make sense to say that an event has probability is zero. Now, this does slightly, what's the word I'm looking for, run counter to our intuition in the sense that I will walk to work on Monday, and it will take me some number of minutes, and the probability that it takes me that number of minutes will be zero. So our real-world intuition that something with probability is zero never happens is a little lost, but, well, that is what it is.